guys. Thank you. On to something positive, ladies and gents, because um, we do have something positive to talk about. Uh, the Extraction 2 uh, had a little teaser trailer. It wasn't a full trailer. It's like a little teaser trailer. It looked absolutely amazing. I really liked Extraction. It was like, I don't know. I really liked it. I, I, I Extraction was epic. I really, like, really good. I like that they're going back to it. I like that this is actually happening because usually you don't see like a follow up on like a streamer. No, right? No, yeah, no. This is great. Like I'm, I'm all in for this. So we can't show too much because Netflix loves to. Uh, no, they claim. they claim. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But we'll just do. It's it. It looks like it's set in like a prison, like a prison escape. Oh, that's so cool. Because you've got prison guards coming yeah. up to him and stuff, smash them around. See, they're prison guards, right? Yeah. Riot gear. And he looks like he's protected some woman. Some yeah, some woman here. And it gets bashed in the head, but it's that it's it's so good. It's that tracking shot of him falling down again, connecting with that. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it was such a good movie, the first one. And it's um who was the director again? It was that Sam. Oh, da, 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 it's the same guy that did um, the Grey Man. Did the first? He did the first one. Uh, Sam Hargrave. Hargrave yeah. so Sam Hargrave is a stuntman, and so you know he he would strap himself to cars with the camera, and that's how you got all those amazing tracking shots in the first one. The cinematography, the the thing, that, what it reminded me of, and and it's only because it's just been released recently, it reminded me a lot of. Uh, not cinematography wise, but the action and the spectacle of like John Wick, right? The action, mm. the spectacle, but the the way they did the cinematography in this. Can you imagine a John Wick film with the? And it's, it's not necessarily cinematography, but it's the it, it's the framing, it's the tracking yeah. shots, it's that sort of yeah. element. A John Wick film, but with these kind of tracking shots, be incredible, be yeah. absolutely incredible. I didn't really do really get that in the the john wick films but this yeah. oh, i wouldn't the tracking shots epic i wouldn't put put that by them in the future <laughs> though i think that you know every time we see one of these john wick films they do something you've never seen before it seems well yeah i mean the the yeah. bird's eye view yeah. and stuff but, yeah but, but no you're right I, I i i'm looking forward to this when when i heard this was coming out i was like wow this might be hemsworth's last major action film for a while so this is yeah that's and, true because he, uh, he yeah well, it, well oh so yes i know so he said he he wants to focus on doing things that he really enjoys rather than wasting his time on things that he doesn't because of his uh, genetic predisposition right. for like dementia or something like that right and crazy and but crazy. this is this is one of the things that he said he really likes doing so i don't you know unless he dies in this again spoiler alert i don't think he's going to not do another one if they want another one but this absolutely is one of those films that should be released on the big screen. Like I, we talked about Netflix yeah, pushing for the big screen. This are. is one of those movies that should be on the big screen. If it, they they need to keep experimenting with that because I think that I think that you're going to start to see more and more of it from them. I mean the mm. the Glass Onion films are supposed to be getting more pushed to the theatrical screens in the in mm. the third installment. So I I feel like I feel like they need to because if they become a viable studio, then the ball game, the, everything changes. Because yeah. now, now their original content is is vastly superior to what Hollywood's delivering. Um, it, you know, you'll be able to, you know, catch it in the p catch it on the big screen, watch it when you want to at home. It, it th those kinds of options are something all, everybody wants. And originally, that was that was what Netflix was for. Is you know, that was the dumping ground for everything from all the studios. Now. If they if they can replace that you know structure with their own stuff, they know how to make them. Yeah. They just hired guys to make good films. I mean, the Russo brothers are there. You got so much talent. Just lean on these guys. The Gray Man. Yeah. You know, I mean, you've got this. You've got their spy series thing going on. There's a lot. There's no reason not to lean into the theatrical releases. And I think I think those films would do better than they think they would. Well, the Gray Man was disappointing. It was, that. but uh, but I mean, they're it, it's not going to stop there. You're going to get another one. So. Yeah, no, true, true. I, I, a bit. I, I, one thing I really like about this is it solidifies to me Chris Hemsworth as an action oh, like right. star, like an actual, legit action star, and also a leading man. 
You know, like we've seen him in the piss around Marvel movies and things like that. And he's done other little bits and pieces here and there. But this, he's really a standout in these. He's yeah. really, really good. Uh, yeah. A lot of screen presence. There's a lot of screen presence. He's, really, and, it's really, not just, yeah. and, and it's not just his size. It's the fact that he can actually act when called upon to do it. You know, he's got mm. that jump off the screen charisma. He's got the it factor that yeah. you're always looking for. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's screen presence, isn't it? It's yeah. that the non-distinct, indescribable oh. god, it's whatever it, it is. Have it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I thought we'd uh, go on something which was really good. I'm really looking forward to that. Release is June 16th. So I'm happy about this. It's good for me. It's in my calendar already. Uh, after my contest, yay. So I'll be able to eat lots of food with it and watch it. And I won't be dieting anymore. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I sound yeah, so gotta unenthused, love. but I actually am. I'm massively excited for that. Gotta love that training. <sighs> love it. Fuck, I can't stand it. I'm so, so tired. <laughs> oh, so tired. <sighs> anyway, so, yeah, I'm excited for it. I think it's great. I would, because I re-watched the other one, the first one, the other last year again or something. like. I can't remember when, but I watched it again. And I was like, God, it's bloody good. It really is. And, and I'd forgotten, like, and I rarely watch a movie twice. I don't know why, I just don't. I'm, I, I check out from them, to be fair. But I watched it again, I was like, oh, it's a bloody good movie, it really is. There's a lot of good things in it. There's very little that you pull up and go, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. It all seemingly worked, um, in my eyes, anyway. Uh, Tom, what do you think of uh, Extraction? I never saw the original, but I've heard good things about it, so... Yeah. Oh, my God. God, uh, you should see it, dude. Tom, you Hemsworth really should head. watch it. I saw Please. Tetris. Whatever. No, honestly, watch Extraction before before June sixteenth. Watch Extraction because we're going to watch Extraction two and uh, cover it because that it's going to be good, man. It's going to be good. You like good tracking shots and stuff like that. Extraction. They they do stuff with the camera that you you think, how the hell did you do that? That must be CGI. So good. So, so good. 